Welcome to SES TV! Hello SES, I'm Kylie and today I'm here to report the SES Community News where we share about the great things happening here at our school. This year we have community, community building days. These are special days for us to come together as a school, get to know each other better, learn to work as a team, and have lots of fun. I will be sharing about two really fun community building days that we have already had. The first is the Turkey Trot, which was held Friday, November 18th. The Turkey Trot was founded last year by the UI teachers. It was created to promote healthy habits during the season. All the grades ran and got at least one lap around the Turkey Trot field and were working to get as many as they could. Here's what some of our SES friends thought about this year's turkey trot. What was your favorite thing about the turkey trot? That I really actually got a lot of popsicle sticks um, at the turkey trot and that I got a kind of passed a lot of talking in that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Another really fun community building experience here at SES was the cookie decorating that helped, happened on December 9th. Miss Holly made over 400 cookies for us. Thank you, Miss Holly. We all decorated our cookie however we wanted and were able to eat it afterwards. We had so many different colors of frosting, marshmallows, and sprinkles, and M&Ms. We have a slideshow TV near the front entrance that shows pictures of us all decorating and eating our cookies. What was your favorite part about the cookie decorating? When we decorated it. Community building days at SES have been a ton of fun this year already. We are looking forward to more opportunities to make, make friends, work together, and have fun with future planned SES community days. With SES Community News, I'm Kylie. Tune in the next episode to hear more about the fantastic events happening here at our school. Wait, we'll go like this one. Go ahead. Okay, I've got a joke for you. What did one penny say to the other penny? We make sense. Is that good? Welcome to the Kindness Project. I'm Andalyn. In this segment, we want to recognize people who have done something kind that not a lot of people notice. Today I have Amelia with me who is being recognized for a kind act in the art room. How did you know that Miss Bird needed help? Um, because nobody was picking up, so I just helped start it. I just started picking up. What made you want to help? Uh, she looked like she needed help because nobody was doing it and the tables were dirty and like nobody was picking up. Tell us a little bit about what you did to help out. Uh, I cleaned the tables, I picked up paint, I cleaned paint brushes, and I cleaned the floor that had spilt water all over it. What did you enjoy about helping? that I made Miss Bird happy and she didn't have to clean that much. Were there any were there any friends that helped you helped you clean the art room? Um Ariana did and uh, that's it. That's it? Yeah. How did helping make you feel and why? Happy because it made Miss Bird um, she didn't have to do that much work. What advice would you give our viewers to help them to do nice things too? When you see somebody that needs help, you should just help them or ask if they need help. What are, what were some of the things you did to help? Thanks Amelia for sharing your story with us and inspiring more kindness 
more kindness here at, at SES. If you want to recognize someone for their act of kindness, stay tuned. More information is coming your way. In the meantime, be on the look, look out for all the, of the th amazing kind things that are ha happening there at SES. I'm Anne Lynn with The Kindness Project. See you next time. Bye. Hello, Ms. Bird. I'm very here to ask you some questions about Amelia helping. Okay. Why did you write a kindness card for Amelia when anybody could have helped? Well, that's because Amelia was the only one that did help. The room was really messy, and she took it upon herself to get up and come over and start doing what the table helpers should have been doing. Was there something specific that made you want to write it? Yes, I, I felt very grateful that Amelia helped me. And I thought that she was really showing a lot of maturity by helping. So that's why I wanted to send out a, a kindness card. Mm -hmm. How did Amelia helping make you feel? Why did it make you feel that way? Um, it made me feel, like I said, made me feel very grateful that she was helping and made me feel happy and made me feel proud of her that she's growing up. And I think a couple of weeks later, you ended up helping one day. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And that made me feel really so happy, too. So did Kennedy, our camera film. That's right. Did the, did the room look shiny after, you cleaned, after Amelia cleaned it? The room looked like it did before you guys came in, which was clean and organized. So that made me feel really good, and I wish she would do it again. How's that? Hi, my name's Olivia, and today I'm here with Bella. I have a joke for you. Have you seen the dog bowl? I never knew he could. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, readers, this is Breslin and Kennedy with SES TV's entertainment segment. Today we want to tell you about a popular author named Mo Williams. Mo Williams has made some of our favorite books that you probably have heard of. Books like Unlimited Squirrels, Time to Sleep, Sheep to Sheep, and the very popular Elephant and Piggy series. These books are great for children who are learning to read. In Elephant and Piggy, they have easy words that you can probably learn quickly. It can be a lot of fun reading Gerald and Piggy's conversations on your own or with a friend. Mo Williams makes readers smile or laugh with his characters and illustrations. The book, Guess What, is a very funny book, especially the beep song. The illustrations in his books, like Time to Sleep, Sheep to Sheep, and Listen to My Trumpet, are silly. In all of Mo Williams' books, he makes the best characters to make the stories come to read. Mo Williams adds another layer of fun when he hides his pigeon in his books. You can learn, you can look for the pigeon's hiding spot in each of his books in the book, Time to Sleep, Sheep to Sheep. Mo Williams hides the pigeon from Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. The pigeon is on page 12. If you look at the end of the pages on any elephant and piggy book, you, you'll you find the pigeon hiding in some pretty interesting ways. It can be fun to read the books and then find the pigeon in its latest hiding place. We would totally recommend these books to our SES friends because they are all great for learning to read and fun. So make sure you check out some of his books in the Seabrook Elementary School Library. Thank you for listening. This is Breslin and Kennedy for SES Entertainment. If you push the brake and the gas on a car at the same time, does it take a screenshot? Hi, this is Huda and Olivia with a story that makes the sports news world. It's a FIFA World Cup. You might have followed this event, but there's so much more to know about this popular worldwide tournament. So get ready to learn about the World Cup. The World Cup is a famous soccer tournament. People watched the World Cup on their devices and followed it on social media. Even here at SES, students listened to the World Cup songs and talked about their favorite players and teams. Today you can watch the tournament live everywhere. Some people are even lucky enough to travel to see the World Cup. This World Cup was in Qatar with 32 teams competing in the FIFA World Cup. The, the tournament is so big that they have groups from A to H to, that complete against each other. But the World Cup didn't always look the same. The first World Cup was in 1930. It was played in an unfinished stadium in Montevideo, 
the capital of Uruguay. Original, originally, there were 13 teams in the 1930 tournament. The final two teams in the first World Cup were Uruguay and Argentina. Uruguay won the first World Cup. The tournament was not shared live, streaming on devices, or famous on social media. Only a few people were there to watch, compared to uh, the huge crowd that attended the 2022 game. Many of the best European players didn't ma even make it to the first World Cup. These days, the world knows a lot about the best players in the sport of soccer. The 2022 World Cup had familiar names like Mbappe, Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, and Bruno Fernandes. Messi and Ronaldo were off, are often considered among the best players of all time. They scored a lot of goals in the World Cup. Messi, Messi has over a thousand career goals with Ronaldo scoring and 800 in his career. The World Cup, the World Cup, a long, interesting history, a showcase for great soccer, great players, as growing soccer spirits even here at SES. We'd like to recognize the FIFA World Cup official website for information and history of the tournament and the books from the library. Great moments in World Cup history and Messi. This is Huda and Olivia with your SES TV Sports News. Go out and play sports. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Awesome.